Good evening, everyone. Well, the Michigan Tech football team did not give the Tiffin Dragons a chance to catch fire in Tech's season opener. The Huskies attacked well on both sides of the ball, and let's roll that tape. Tiffin wasn't able to squeeze out any points on its first possession. Huskies just needed two plays. Quarterback Tyler Scarlett finds Matt Curtin so wide open, even the black and gold couldn't even believe it. Touchdown covered 79 yards, and Tech led 7 to nothing. A couple plays later, this Pop Warner-esque punt bounced in the hands of Alex Ellisheimer on Tiffin's 28-yard line. And Killer block by Iron Mountain grad Paul Coppola, and that helped Elsenheimer Scott the 28 yard for the score 14 0 Huskies halfway through the first quarter. To the second, after a fumble recovery by Besmer's Justin Blake, Kingsford Cole Welch burrowed in the end zone for a yard, and Tech led 24 7 at the half. First drive of the third quarter, Tech marched 75 yards in sixth play. Cedric Barber carried the last 10 to make it 31 to 7. Then Tyler Scarlett was on his game. He tossed the second TD pass of the game to Forest Park's Brian LaChapelle for 12 yards right there. The Huskies powered their way to a 51-15 win. Now, well, let's talk about the Huskies and their defense. They did the things that's very, that scared me, you know, getting the ball out on the edges and making our kids tackle in space. And I thought, by and large, we rushed the pass so well. I thought we kept people in front of us, and I thought we tackled in space, which was real key. In the first half, we're just getting getting to the quarterback. That's basically, that's how we stymie them, just a great pass rush so they don't have a chance to let those uh, pass crossing routes develop and everything. And we do have a very young secondary, but, I mean, that's how we can help them out. We game planned hard all week and um, tried to stay focused on what our goals were and we just came out and executed the game plan perfectly and you know we Akeem had some things to fix yet. Akeem Kaysan scored Tech's last offensive touchdown. Coppola returned a fumble 32 yards for the final score and Michigan Tech travels to Walsh in Canton, Ohio next Saturday. School football stores. Menominee beats Harbor Beach 46-25. Cedar Grove Belgium beats Escanaba 49-10. Manistique beats Gwynn in that resuming of the game because of thunder last night. Belair beats Owen Trout Creek 50 to 12. And let's go to the ninth annual Tour de Woods Mountain Bike Challenge. It took place at the Alger County Fairgrounds in Chatham. 156 bikers participated in the Hiawatha's Revenge 25-mile course. At the first aid station, it was the dynamic group of four with Cole House of Oneida, Wisconsin, leading the pack through the trenches. So eight miles into the race, it was nice and tight. And we go down to the stretch after this, and they were all neck and neck at this point. But with some strategy, it was Mike Anderson who would come on the outside of that and come in first place. Jordan Wakeley of Grayling, Michigan would come in second. And Brian Matter, the guy who owns the UP up here of Sheboygan, Wisconsin, came in third. There was some money handed out in this event. First place won $1,000, so congratulations to Anderson on that. $500 for second, third place was $250. And also this kid, though, showed us why biking is such a fun sport. Look at that smile. Congrats to all that participated. And let's go to some volleyball. Ten teams converged in Gladstone for the Rocket Invitational. Ann Houghton in white battles Marquette in red. Addison Pietrowski chooses to set the ball over the net. She gets the point for Marquette. Teams played two sets and rotated in pool play. And for the Gremlins, Blair Zenner is denied, but teammate Sidney Dillinger records the kill for the orange and black. And Natalie Dodo and Zenner combine on a block in this sequence. And Houghton won the pool play match two sets to none. The Gremlins and Red Hats also met in the final. And Houghton won the tournament two sets to one. Gwyn and Escanaba were the other semifinalists in the tournament. And let's go to some soccer. Here's some Marquette soccer hosting the Sioux in Marquette. Here's David Colario with a strike on goal, and Tony Lackey caught it, but he loses it as it comes down, and Brett Weber scores on the rebound. 1-0 Blue Devils in the first half. We go to the second half, and it was all Redmond from here. It's Pickard Lahome getting taken down in the box by Casey Pepin, and that would lead to a penalty kick. And on that penalty kick, it was Billy Mullet hitting the back of the net, and the game was tied up at 1. Later in the second half, it was more Redmond. Here's Pickard again on the outside. He crosses it into the box. Marty Gray would head it right to Andrew Bandit, and he'd score from 10 yards, and Marquette would take the 2-1 lead. That's all they needed. They beat the Sioux Blue Devils in what was a very close match. Other scores to get to. Here's some volleyball. 
NMU beat Southern Indiana in a 3-2 to two win. They were in Missouri Invitational there. And Michigan Tech beat Briarcliff 3-2. to two. They are in South Dakota in an invitation as well. They played Black Hill State. They're hosting it, but they lost. The Michigan Tech lost that one 3-1. to one. And let's keep on the Michigan Tech route. The women's tennis team had an easy conference match against Lake Erie. Let's go to the first doubles. Far court, Dunja Irmanal Suz of Israel and Russian Natalia Lebedeva dominated their opponents, winning a pro set 8 0. Lebedeva with a winning volley here. And Tech only allowed one game in two doubles matches. Lake Erie did not have a full team, which made it easier for the Huskies to post a 9 0 victory. Tech hosts Walsh tomorrow morning and Malone Monday morning after that. Remember, Upper Michigan source for all NMU, Packers, and anything sports. Hello, Mr. Bishop. Well, I am Desmond Bishop, and the Packers play tomorrow uh, against the 49ers, and it will be on Fox UP, and it should be a fun matchup. Will it be on bed rest tomorrow? It will be. I'm resting because I'm out for the season, but it should be a fun game tomorrow. <laughs> all right, sounds good. We'll be wrapping things up in just a moment.